from the wheel to the development of agriculture, to the printing press, to the internet. These technological advancements have completely transformed the way we live, work, and communicate. But we always haven't been so embracing of these technological advancements. Why? Has it been because we fear the effectiveness of these machines may someday take over human action? Or has it been because we fear how it may corrupt into our personal lives? Special. Regardless of the reason, a new technological advancement has entered into our arenas. And it's going to change the way we do everything. And that's something I like to call the AI revolution. Now, there's multiple aspects of this topic that have inspired for me to talk about it with you all today. From building my own AI algorithms at home, to the social frenzy that has generated around ChatGPT, my initial spark came from my mom scrolling through her daily Facebook. And we both came across a video that was titled, AI Generating Human Evolution. Okay, so what? It's just going to generate us since when we were apes to us holding our coffee mugs and cell phones? But it turned out to come up with something a little more interesting. Let's take a look. It turned out to come up with a prediction that went way beyond our present time. That's terrifying, right? I mean, probably like many of you guys, your mind started to wander. Such as, what kind of training data did this have available? Or how far back in history did this look to produce this kind of output? But to the more relevant question that I will be answering today, is to what extent is this output true to our future? Now, let's start with the basics. As many of us come into AI with different kinds of fields, backgrounds, and knowledge as well, AI stands for Artificial Intelligence. And what it is, is a wide range of computer science branches that are focused around building a smart machine. And that smart machine is tasked to perform a specific output. An output that typically requires human intelligence. And what that smart machine does is it takes in a wide set of data and using fast, iterative processing, the algorithm is able to identify patterns and trends within the data to produce like outputs. Outputs that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, look in your homes, look in your desks, look in your pockets, take out your phones, and you're trying to unlock it using facial recognition? That's AI. Use, needing Siri to schedule some kind of meeting in the appointment later in the day? That's AI going home and need to relax and say, hey Alexa, play me a song. Alexa, that's AI. Going traveling and need to translate a foreign language using Google Translate, that's AI. AI touches into our lives in multiple different aspects without us even realizing it. And AI is not this concept that humanity is gonna be taken over by robots by any sort. But AI is used to make our lives more comfortable, accessible, and convenient. Now just imagine how far it's going to go in the future. Future. Let's talk about that. More specifically, in the field of healthcare. At the University of Florida, they have been developing this machine learning algorithm that focuses on the problem of post-surgery complications. 150,000 Americans per year do die due to these unexpected complications. And what this machine learning algorithm does is it takes in real-time data during the surgery and produces a list of potential complications the said patient is to have, giving it to its doctor to prevent it from getting any more serious in the future. Having these types of algorithms in our healthcare system can allow our healthcare system to become more reliable and help save the lives of many. Let's look into another field, the car industry, and its self-driving cars. 
Self-driving cars have been in the making for quite some time now, but they've already made it onto our roads. Majority of traffic-related incidents are caused by human error. And self-driving cars potentially eliminate or even reduce the number of fatalities and injuries with traffic-related incidents. And so what these self-driving cars use are ultrasonic sensors. And these ultrasonic sensors are close object detection sensors that are embedded into the cars to help the car identify any kinds of objects, animals, or even humans surrounding it to make its next action more adaptable to its environment. Having these cars on our roads will allow our safer future of driving. As I begin to end off, I would like to send this message to you all. The responsibility of learning about this amazing advancement, about learning about AI, is ours. We have to help navigate it into our future. The power of AI is in our hands. We hold its power. So let us not fear it, but yet embrace it. AI has endless amount of possibilities and on how it can impact our future, but only to what we allow it to become. So saying this, let us stick together, support one another, join in on the discussion, and experience the AI revolution. Thank you.